I, I would like to talk a little about pizzicato playing, melodic singing pizzicato playing in contemporary pieces. I'm going to play a little, some small examples from three different pieces. The first, first one is Tepu House the House, Pete's po Poem Basso number three. Very singing and melodic. So you get different colors from different fingers. Slow, melodic, quite a lot of weight in the left hand, but very slow pitch. And now it's even slower, and I use a lot of the back muscles. And be sure that when you play harmonics, that the finger, left hand finger, leaves the string immediately. Otherwise, it stops a lot of the vibrations. And now back muscles. Very slow pizzicatos, but with back weight. Leave again, harmonics. And a lot of weight in that a lot of weight in the left hand with the glissandos. Slow now. Tempo is very fond of letting harmonies come out, so he, he likes to leave a lot of notes ringing. That one, that one, that one. Same here, left hand pits, and now back weight. Take another section from the same piece by Teppo. Slow pitch. Slow with back weight. flesh of the thumb you can use when you pitch the fat of the sound will get. So when I want percussive, it's it's a faster with the pizzicato with the tip of the finger, but with a slower with the thumb. It's more ringing. Harmonics leave. Leave. Now slow. Let them all ring. And the ending. faster. And that's the same as it when you play normal harmonics. You have to leave. Leave the spring as soon as you can.
that was that was piece. The next one is a student of mine uh, from Me Mexico, Rodrigo Mata, has written quite a few pieces for double bass solo. This one is called Eighth Decennium, and it's written uh, to Frank Proto and Tepo Hatao when they had their 80th birthday. Also, a lot of thumb, not a weight, slow. And when you do the glissando, a lot of weight. Try, try to think of a crescendo of weight to the glissando. Louder, so I use even more back. Wait. Nothing more ring. Another ringing chord. Now still back weight. None of this is indicated in the notes. So, I mean, you could play with a finger, but for me, the color and the sound is much more ringing, much more vibrant. Pitch the first, then you hit and you plug. The last example is a piece by Simon Garcia called Polar Lights. It's written to, in the honor of Teppu Hata Ahodistu. Here's a combination of harmonics that has to be a little more percussive, but also slow back. And the top line, the melody, has a lot of grisandos, so you need a lot of weight in the left hand and slow, heavy pitch. Same back in the melody. Thank you. 